Hi everyone, Gretchen mullins Savisky, the president here at NHTI Conquers Community College, starting off with um, some information related to safety. You saw that our director of safety and security sent out an information that we will be using the app now. So the app is, is should be more convenient for people. I wanted to show what it looks like when students are, are able to get back into the classes. There's an icon, it looks like a little plus sign with lots of stars and it says your results you are safe to return to campus okay got it it's a green bar so our screeners at the door the entrance of the buildings are going to be looking for this but faculty should also be looking at this when students come into your class students could piggyback in and somehow get into classes we want to make sure that it's safe for them to be in your classes so be the second screener um, ask to see their phones or ask to see their paper to make sure that they are safe that they've been checked and it's appropriate for them to be in class second thing i wanted to talk about is our enrollment our enrollment is down substantially 14.46% with credits and 13.45% in headcount of students with 3,064 students here on um, at NHTI. Some of the reasons for this are that we have a reduction in our running start and we also just recently dropped students for, for the fact that they never attended classes. So there was a substantial drop because of that. What can you do? Well, I think that we could still use our gopher funds. We have a lot of money, several million dollars that we would like to give to our to students. Students have until November 30th to use these funds. We want them to use these funds. So if you know students that are having some financial stresses and they have been affected by COVID-19, then absolutely refer them to, to the funds. It's an, an, a simple application. They have to, of course, complete their financial aid and the form can be found on our website. We also want to refer students to our services at the Academic Center for Excellence. We have lots of tutoring for students to try to keep them, keep them going uh, by getting the um, extra skills and time on task through, to, through our tutors. If you have a best practice related to retention, um, please let us know. We want to share out your, your good work, and so let us know about that so that we can get that out to others so they can potentially use your retention strategy. Wanted to talk a little bit other, a little bit more about some data. Uh, we receive information um, regularly about how many students, how many credits our, our students take. Uh, our full-time students, and this was very surprising to me, um, they typically take 14 credits. Now, if a full-time student takes 14 credits, of course, it means they will never graduate within two years. So whenever you have the opportunity and when it's appropriate, talk to students about uh, the importance of taking 15 credits if they want to graduate with a 60-credit um, associate's degree over, over two years. I think that's really important to encourage them to stay on task, to stay on time if they're able. Okay, the other thing I wanted to share is that we still have a lot of work to do with our open educational resources. These are no-cost and low-cost textbooks for students. Uh, we are currently at 7%. 7% of our, our, our courses offer these no-low OER resources. These are the free textbooks for students, which really helps them with, with any kind of financial barriers because there's, they don't have to pay for books. And this is currently the lowest uh, percentage over all of the colleges in New Hampshire. Uh, the highest uh, usage is at Manchester Community College, the second largest community college here, and they're at 34%. So we need to work on this. I, I recommend talking to our library, talk to your colleagues, talk to your colleagues at other, other community colleges to see what resources they are using in order to boost our OER, OER numbers. So I wanted to share that as well. Finally, for communication, this is just a reminder that the faculty meeting is on October 6th from 1 to 2 p.m through Zoom, so please come, please attend. And the staff meeting is October 16th from 11 to 12. So it'll be an opportunity for you to ask any questions that you might have, um, to share concerns or, or share um, good, the good news of the college as well. So finally, I just wanted to have a little plug in for Charles. Today is Charles Ansel's last day. Charles, if you're watching, we're going to miss you. Um, we're very proud of you and congratulations on your, on your move to CCA. Take care.